Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to fill up the gaps in a table in Excel using VBA macros. So I have copy pasted here some, some um, cities which belong to a particular province from a particular country. And I want to build a table well, with countries, provinces, cities, and, and maybe later even add some other information for each city. But then in order to create a table or create a pivot table or charts, I need to fill all the information. So for example, if I, if I want to uh, create a pivot out of that, you know, um, with the uh, with the cities, you see 12 cities correspond to blank because there is no there is no information yet in the table. And of course, um, we can manually uh, fill fill that with the um, out of fill or, or fill down properties of Excel. But imagine you have a, a very large table and you don't want to do that manually. Here we have only a few columns and a few rows. But in, in case you have a very large table, you you want to have an automated solution to do that for you. So we're going to create a very simple macro to do that for us. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor. And as always, insert a module and a new procedure that I'll call um, fill gaps. And um, we're going to loop through each column. So we're going to do it column by column. First, we'll start with column A, column B, and, and column C in the selection. So we'll have to select a, a range first. So we do that with, so we start with a for each loop. And for each, let's call um, a variable um, cell call in the selection columns. So for each cell call, and of course, we need to declare those. So cell call is going to be declared as a range. OK. Um, then we're going to start a second loop. So for each column, we're going to loop then for each row. So inside this for each um, loop, I'm going to I'm going to add a new for each. And in this case, I'm going to call the variable selection row. So the, the, the because we're going to loop by row in the selection rows. And then here we're going to have a, a condition. We're going to check if the if the cell is empty or not. So if the value of the cell, so cells, cell row dot row, comma, cell column dot column. So why that? Because cell row is not the the, the row number. Cell row is an object, actually is a cells object, a single cell within the, the rows. So to get the number of the row, we use the row property. So cell row dot row, and the same for cell column, cell call dot column. So if the value of that is not empty, OK, so when we start, we start with uh, Spain here, and it's not empty. Or we will actually start from row one. So it will start with country. It doesn't really matter. It will go to the, to the row two. It's not empty. It will then, we will assign that value to a variable that I'm going to call fill value. And that will be cells cell row dot row cell call dot column dot value so that if it's not empty we save that into a variable which is fill value and let me declare those so we didn't declare cell row as a, that's a range but now fill value is a string okay it's a string variable it's text we're gonna store the text so here, if it's not empty, then we're going to um, store that value in, in fill value. OK. But then else, if it's empty, 
So when we move to the next row and it's empty, what do we want to do? We want to uh, use the value above. So we want to put in cells, cell row dot row, cell called dot call, column. The value here now is going to be the fill value. And then we end the if statement here and we move to the next row. And when we are done with all rows in a column, we move to the next column. And that's basically it. So as I said, it's a very simple macro. So now if I play this, you see in, in, in an instant, it fills uh, the gaps for each um, country, province, etc. So that's how we fill the gaps in a table in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.